Welcome to my channel. I'm Intuitive Empress. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today. This is a general message for all signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting on this meal of the day, take your time, chew your food, eat the meat, and don't trip on the wounds. To my subscribers, thank you for your love and support. I appreciate every like, every comment, every subscribe, every share. For any information regarding me that you would need to get from me, that is in the description below. That is donations, that's personal readings, that's my Etsy shop where you can get oracle cards, tarot cards made by yours truly. Also, you can get manifestation jewelry and you can get manifestation jars, you can get um, herbal bath soaks to help you with your spiritual needs, cleansing, protection, things of that nature. All right. Don't forget to like this video on your way in or on your way out. And if this message resonates with you, you like the way I deliver the messages, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification and so you are aware of when the next videos are uploaded i do apologize i have been away from you for a little bit but that was because i was getting some things together for you um creating new oracle cards refreshing my shop getting more jewelry in for you all okay um you can also get your free birth chart or hit the thank you button if you want to donate to the channel it's quick and easy hit that button enter in the amount that you would like to donate we do have a 25 25 angel donation which is the standard donation so you have a couple of options to you all right let us get into this message and the spirit of the angels of the most high god and father god what messages do we have for the intuitive community? Holy Spirit, what messages? Oh, we have cleanse. There is a need to cleanse your energy. All right. What else do we have, Holy Spirit? Oh, mm. we have karmic justice coming out in the mix when it comes to a certain situation all right so for some of you you may need to clear your personal space it's not quite spring yet but you might need to do a, a spring cleaning um getting rid of things that no longer serve you um if you have uh, things from ex lovers and things like that it might be time to purge those things also in order to receive blessings you have to have room for them all right it might be a time for you to cleanse your spirit to get rid of those toxic energies from past relationships and toxic connections implement healthy habits into your life connect with your higher self connect with the holy spirit um, to keep you in a space that is protected be mindful of your negative thoughts release those low vibrating emotions let go of toxic relationships or jobs rise above the negativity because karma is coming all right this is a time where all wrongs are being made right whoever has wronged you is about to receive their karmic justice allow karma to come full circle be patient ask the divine for intervention to help you move forward remember that vengeance belongs to the most high god trust the process you are strong you are protected learn from your mistakes don't make the same mistakes twice okay because they do hold you back and there is a cost to it all right you have the soulmate energy coming in this is to confirm a new soulmate has arrived or is on its way this could be platonic meaning a friend a sibling a mentor a colleague or even a child for those of you are childbearing ages it could be a lover all right this will be a time of sharing trust um experience and teachings uh with these individuals and it will be a blessing to your life you are connected 
to these people, all right? Some of these people may come in from the past and your bond will remain as strong. For some of you, you could have had people who just left for circumstances. They had to go off and learn their lessons and do the things they needed to do as well as you. And now you may be coming back in with someone. This could be happening in March. All right, for some of you, it's February. Put that in order. So between February and March, this could happen. Or for some of you, it is in February. Some of you, it is in March. All right, you could have some people who had to learn some karmic lessons and they regret how they treated you when they were in that karmic cycle. You or others around you are looking back at the past with some nostalgia, but with new awareness of how you were, how you perceive things or things that you allow to happen to yourself and some regret is present. It's time to right the wrongs and wipe the slate clean because I'm not going to say, look, we all do wrong. So... I'm here to tell you what you need to hear, not necessarily what you want to hear. The healing journey is for everyone, and it's time to offer apologies if you need to make apologies or people need to apologize to you. What I found sometimes is that you have a lot of people who want people to apologize to them for those to repent, which means to turn away from the things that they have done and start doing the things that are right. But on the flip side, you have those who don't want to do the same. We are not always right, all right? So there may be explanations that you need to make or someone else needs to take, um, or they need to ask for forgiveness, or you need to ask for forgiveness. Mistakes were made with poor judgment. And sometimes it wasn't even that you meant to hurt this person. It's just that at the time, the way you saw things, this was the best way to go and you found out that it was wrong or this person found out it was wrong. Allow yourselves and others to heal. This life lesson needs closure. Why? Because it makes room for your blessings. Okay, again, <laughs> right next to the regret when I was saying nostalgia, someone is looking back, all right, with the Six of Cups. This could be childhood wounding. This could be with parents. This could be, this is memories, remembering those things. God will bring back to your remembrance things that you have done, old relationships, mending those relationships. All right. And this is only if the person is willing to do it. But you can let go of some things, let go of the regret, let go of the hurt. Forgive yourself. All right. We do have graduation it's time to move out of the old just like you graduate from kindergarten to uh, primary school and then from primary school to middle school and middle school to high school it's a progression okay it says you have graduated from really difficult life lessons you can breathe a sigh of relief overcoming this situation this can also be a sign to confirm certification for completing a program so you could be getting a degree okay um, you could have taken an educational course or achieved a personal goal this marks the end of a cycle you have made it to completion all right we do have debt it's time to put attention to what you spend your money and time on this is a sign that you are in a cycle of bad habits that you have left that have left you in debt okay or this could be someone around you structure your spending differently make a budget okay discipline yourself balance your finances and make the necessary changes to avoid future debts don't let others waste your money or your time because you can have a debt of time you can have a debt of money you can have a debt in spirit okay we have lust hmm. the world is full of the lust of the eye lust, lust of the flesh and the pride of life and there is a cause to that too there is an energy of lust infatuation and primal desires 
and a risk of addiction to those things. This could be possible intercourse addictions, controlling of others with intercourse energy, or manipulating by using lust for selfish gain. This is a sign of love, loveless exchanges happening in your life or the life of this person that is on your mind. Avoid risky situations involving lust. Yes, it's time for you to um, graduate from those things, okay? And there is a consequence to um, having those lustful desires. You could be in a place where you find yourself um, or this person finds themselves with something, a sickness that they cannot get rid of, okay? That's how I'm going to put that. What else do we have, Holy Spirit? Hmm. So we have mother. All right, you could be a mother. This could be maternal nurturing energies uh, that is being sent your way um, the Holy Spirit is making contact to celebrate new life with you this could be a rebirthing okay this can also symbolize new motherhood you could be a new mother you could be pregnant um, you could have young children or you could be raising a family a mother cares for her family animals nature and those closest to her she loves gently and protects fiercely so this could be you you could just have a mothering spirit where you take care of people all right you could be in the areas of social work nursing um something that helps and reaches out people uh, coaching you could be uh, a, a spiritualist uh, a breeder, okay, a prophet, an uh, empath, all right, we do have inheritance, something valuable is being passed on to you, this could be in a form of money, assets, knowledge, uh, sentimental items, or either even spiritual wisdom, spiritual blessings that are on your family line, this is a sign of positive karmic return karmic justice coming in to you protect your blessings remain humble and grateful to the most high this could be a situation that brings you into the queen or king of pentacles being successful being grounded being someone who is a healer you could be a businesswoman or businessman this is someone who is practical and mature someone who is down to earth and sensible all right, be careful of the gold diggers, the folk that are self-absorbed, jealous of you, someone who will try to smother you, all right, because they are intolerant of you, the Roman, someone who's very materialistic, who thinks that you owe them something, all right. Um, we do have way off in the future coming out with blessings. We do have that you may feel like your blessings are way off in the future but the amazing news is that your blessings are coming for you and they are closer than you think in the time frame of february or march all right or between those times or from now until march or february for someone be alert and open to the new opportunities all of the good you have put into the world is coming back to you to reward you for your effort and intent. This is a good sign. On the bottom of the deck, we do have January. So like I said, for some of you, between now and March, your blessings are going to be coming to you. That is beautiful. All right, if this part of the message resonated with you, let me know by liking this video. Send your comments in the comment section. Tell me what you are thinking. Tell me if you like this. All right. And be uh, an encouragement to everyone else. 
okay? So let us go deeper into this message. All right, we are going to use the crystal clear deck. This used to be the white uh, cards that um, I would use in the readings, okay? I just need them a little bit prettier for myself. This deck, these two decks will not be for sale, okay? Just have to reiterate that. Hmm. All right, so we have Russia. Um, you can be of Russian descent, have Russian blood on. All right, some people are mixed up with all kinds of things that could be in your ancestry. All right, you could have visited there. You could currently live there. Take it as it resonates. All right, we do have peace entering into your life, like still waters. For some of you, you could have been going through a turbulent time. All right. You could have had someone steal your identity, forge your signature, all right? For some of you, this is this materialistic person. This is someone who uh, gossiped negatively behind your back, doing word curses, all right? So that we started out with cleansing your energy. So there may be a need to cleanse your energy. I do have the um, herbal bath soap you drop it in your bath. You soak it away in your little bubble bath, and it helps you to cleanse your energy spiritually um you can reach out to me for that uh, through my email address or text message me we can get that to you because that particular thing is not on etsy because of their rules and guidelines and things like that so um we have people involved that you don't know there are people involved that you don't know in this situation okay um there are things going on behind the scenes okay regarding this people you want to set you up people that are a part of groups covens and things like that so there are people in someone's energy the person on your mind's energy that you don't know of that are plotting on you that are stalking you Yes, that does happen. You have people that don't know you, that know someone that knows you that's involved in the situations. But those high places are being brought down. Those secret things are coming to light, all right? The darkness is being made light in this year. We have Greece, all right? So you have someone who may be Greek, of Greek descent. This could be a place that you've always wanted to visit. You could have visited this place. You could have gone on vacation in this place. All right. Or one of you could have Greek ancestry. We have Spain. One of you could have been, um, you could have visited Spain. Could be of Spanish descent. Um, and I would say any Spanish speaking country because Spain, just like England colonized a lot of places. This is why people speak Spanish in different parts of the world. Um, this could have been someone specifically from uh, Malaga, Valencia, Madrid, Zaragoza, Bilbao, Tagus. Could have been somewhere near Gibraltar. Okay. Take it as it resonates. We have Psalms 37 and 27. The Most High loves judgment and does not forsake his children. The children of the wicked are cut off. This is the time where the children of the wicked will be cut off. This is part of why things are being unveiled during this time. Okay? Where secret things are being done. No, it's not going to get every wicked person, but there are people where it is their time. Okay. It says, When my enemies came to destroy me, they stumbled and fell. Psalms 27 and 2. See, for some of these people, they just came across the wrong person. <laughs> they screwed 